Y'all see these rims? Matt is just gone. He just left. I'm off to the gym myself. What I want to do right now is see um, about this device. Now, this device, all right, everybody knows about it. It is called an Apple Watch. I'm going to get an Apple Watch. And the reason why I'm going to get an Apple Watch is because when I do cardio, right, you do cardio, you're putting your hands on a thing, you're gripping the cardio machine and you're checking your heart rate you know what I'm saying you're checking the calories burning off those factors numbers become factors in motivation sometimes and I feel like that would be something that could really push me to you know work harder or keep my intensity up you know because during, during a workout you just kind of go based off a of feel and something but when you start to calculate numbers which kind of starts to add in precision to your workouts it it helps out to you know motivate you to keep going like to not, you know, fall off and, and lose the intensity. So I'm going to go to the mall right now. I'm going to buy an Apple Watch and I'm going to test this, you know, seemingly correct theory I have for myself and uh, just have like an intense workout. So, you know, because um, GF, she has it. Um, one of the girls at the gym has it and I just saw her working and I saw all the numbers and stuff she has with her um, Apple Watch and how many calories she burnt during the session and stuff. And I'm like, huh, like it's, how pre precise are these calculations? And even still, even if they aren't super precise, the fact that you're just pushing numbers can be, you know, a very serious motivation, mo motivational um, a factor in your training. So, that being said, let's go get this watch. Yo, I was always about to trip out today because my satchel, me and Matt kind of have like the same one, right? And uh, he left uh, four o'clock this morning, and you know, I was bugging out because I couldn't find it. And just yesterday, I accidentally grabbed his instead of mine, and um, he was looking for it. And I was like, and, I, and the whole time I was like, oh shit, I got Matt. And I thought, you know, like he left. He left at four o'clock in the morning. You know, everybody's tired, not really paying attention or whatever. I was almost like dead sleep before he uh, had to leave and you know we're just kind of getting their luggage and stuff and dipping and yo i was bugging out because i was like yo if he has my fucking satchel whatever then i'm screwed of my wallet my keys everything are in it so luckily he didn't i just misplaced a lot of things a lot of times we're working out i'll get the aluminum the aluminum mm -hmm. it's different the stainless steel is a little bit heavier it's a little bit thicker uh, let me uh. So, yeah, let me know if you need anything else. No, nah, let me let me grab this. Oh, grab that yeah, one? this right. one. Yeah. Will this fit my will, my? will this fit my wrist? Yeah, they got a uh, lower. Uh, they got a large band in there too. Cool. Yeah, cool. You want the black? Uh, yeah. This is not the lower end, the one though, right? No, nah, this is the top. This is the, the, the top. This is the top of the line one. So four thirty nine. This one is. Uh, Three ninety nine because it's a smaller one. Three ninety nine is a smaller one, but with tax four thirty nine. Mm -hmm. uh, just for everybody to know. Oh yeah, uh, for sure. It's the top of the line. Uh, sure. And then the lowest, the 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 lowest one you can get with heart rate is the lowest how much? one you can get with the heart rate is three seventy. Three seventy nine. The series three. Series three. It's the series four. So you might as well just get the series four. You definitely get the yeah. series four for sure. Yeah. All right, so we got the watch right here. Cost about four thirty, and this is the top end one. Um. But like you said, man, even the the lower end one is like was like 370 plus tax. You're probably going to end up in 400 anyways. So you might as well get the high end one. Now, is it, will it be worth it? I'm going to give you guys like a week or two or whatever and see my results. I'm, I'm going to keep it on and, and you know see if it's actually worth it. But <laughs> I'll catch up, man. But um. Uh, I mean, shit, because dropping 400 for fucking watches, it's pretty uh, pretty tough, so it better, it better do the job. It ain't like it's like uh, something flashy, like the S-Force watches I'm a part of. <sighs> Shout out to S-Force. Go to S-Force.com. Link will be in the bio for some nice-ass watches, all right? Check that out. Strength overcomes, baby. But let's get to working out. Down 
All right, so one problem I have with this watch is it did not come charged. So this day I was using the watch, trying to use a watch, and it didn't come charged. Also, Creative Labs wireless, super wireless headphones. You can get 10% off. Link will be in the description. So guys, make sure you hit that up. These are super affordable, $79.99. $79.99 uh, for the headphones with the 10% discount will be like $71 free shipping so link will be in the description as you see no wires at all but anyways as I bought the watch um, you know I was going through a few features it took me a while to connect it to the phone and also it doesn't come updated which was super annoying um, but y'all hear that later on in the video because I just kind of went through this workout. This workout was more of a body weight workout. Um, I really didn't do anything spectacular, heavy. Sometimes I just go in, do some lightweight workouts, um, use some bands, do some pull-ups, calisthenics more so, a little bit of explosive movements and stuff. Uh, but as I said, going back with the watch, sorry, I burped there. Forgot to say Morty. But anyways, going back to the watch, uh, didn't come up updated, didn't come charged. So I left that at the desk, you know, I was hoping that the watch would get charged for me to be able to use it this same day uh, for you guys. But luckily, going towards the rest of the video, I have footage of me with the watch and also talking about the watch. So that being said, we will get to the next few days after this day right here. So you guys are probably curious about if the watch is working or not. That day I was having too many difficulties with the watch a couple days ago uh, when I got it. And now, you know, I've had a few days with it and can give you kind of like a, a full on experience with it in some type of way. Well, I mean, two days. It's only been two, two days, two, three days that I've had the watch, all right? Uh, but that day, you know, it was just, I was going through so much bullshit with this damn watch, trying to sync it up with my phone, and blah, 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 and making sure the heart rate was right. And so far, you know, even after all that, which took like two hours to set up in the update, I, why are phones not, why are, why are devices not already updated when you first get them and not charged, all right? Like, we want devices ready to go as soon as we get them, point blank. So, now I can finally get this video out to you guys uh, with the watch actually working out with it checking my heart rate keeping up with it like i've been doing for the couple past days and you know just to give just for the record i feel it's been most of a of a help when it comes to just more more so my cardio but even even when i work out like i, I see me working out and i'm just doing my normal workouts my rest time and my heart rate is above what i thought it would be it's it's above what i thought it would be like you know i think my, my, my resting heart rate you know when i'm trying to cool down and getting back into the workout like my, my workout feels like even though like physically didn't feel like that but when it comes to the device it shows that i'm like doing a high intensity workout and for me my workouts are almost like a, you know a breeze you know and like yeah i do kind of fatigue myself and still go to the next set when i'm kind of tired but my whole workout's almost like a high intensity workout, which is crazy. So that being said, we're gonna go back to the gym. We're gonna do a workout. I'm gonna show you guys my heart rate uh, throughout some sets. Um, today's push pull day. And then uh, also, I got some Just Sand gear right here. Just came in, oh, never mind. Also, Alpha. Got some Alpha clothing in this dish. Check it out, yo. The Funk Soul Brother. Yo, guess what's coming in the mail, baby? Guess what's coming in the mail? Don't touch tees, baby. Don't touch tees coming in that joint. Look at that, clean too. Yo, this feels nice. Put on proper, super proper, boy. Oh yeah, I'm with it. Don't touch tees. With alpha clothing, you already know. We got a merch line coming out with them too. So be looking for that, but we got the don't touch tee right here, which looks hella nice. We got the don't touch. I got two tees, so XO. So I think what I'm wearing right now is a large. And y'all already know Alpha hoodies is bomb. Alpha hoodies is lit, yeah. The best, the best fitting hoodies, point blank, I've ever had. Sure. 
Yeah. Don't touch hoodies in this joint, boy. Where y'all at? Where y'all at? I'll probably get a size down. He probably sent me an XL. So this is an XL. I usually wear large in the hoodies. I like how this fit right here. Like it's clean right there. It's clean. Yo, do y'all want black or gray? That's what we're kind of debating on. Do you want a black hoodie or gray? Because at first I wanted the black, but I'm actually liking this gray right here. It's nice. And then we got the baseball tees. <clears throat> Might as well work out in this joint today. I was looking for something to work out in. This is, yeah, this is the large. So I just had on the large. <laughs> and then this is the large and this. All right, here we go. The XL. So we got the XL in this. I guess they didn't put the print on the large. I just want to see how it fit. <clears throat> yeah. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Man, don't touch, bro. Don't touch, bro. Yeah, I'm with that, though. I wanted that pink, get that like that retro feel with like the blue electricity and like that pink outside, you know what I'm saying? So that's why I went with this. But I'm, I'm feeling the gray, I, you know, through the photos. I was like, dang, do I want the gray or not? But I, I'm liking the gray. I like the gray for a fact. The veins popping through this joint, man. Ever since I got this watch two days ago, I've been kind of hitting cardio like hard. Honestly, like usually, you know, when you do cardio and you're doing the, uh, you got to grab the, the treadmill thing or whatever. You know, and it, it gets annoying, like having to like grab it. And like now I just like keep going and I'm still I'll just like this, keep going again. And I feel more like the flow, like the, the, the more of a convenience things are, the more you're, you're, you know, you come to do it. So this has actually been pretty beneficial when it comes to heart rate and stuff, actually checking messages and shit and even uh, other shit. But let's head to the gym. Make sure y'all grab Alpha Clothing. Use code AFTERMATH for 15% off. You already know what it is. Catch me on my live streams. I know I've been kind of uh, incognito for a little bit for like the last week. I had Matt through here and stuff. And then I got my dad coming, so be kind of getting the house ready and shit. But uh, catch me on my live streams, man. You already know what it is. It's your boy, be at the man, man. I'm going to catch y'all at the gym. You know what I'm saying? She's <laughs> a squalor. All right, before we head to the gym, I don't know if you guys know, but I'm a part of S-Force, this new watch company and let me tell you these are the best watches i have been a part of modified firepower s force means strength overcomes watch right here ready are y'all ready for this yeah, man. boom look at that look at that let me so fast <sighs> you see that thickness you want this on that wrist try to get it focused there we go nice Sleek design, made for you by. All right, what up guys? Back again with the voiceover. So I don't know if you guys know, but lately I've been on a push-pull, um, hamstring glute day, and then conditioning, calisthenics, uh, abs training, um, split. That's my split, and then it just rotates. Um, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. So I'm almost hitting everything like three times a week. And I'm loving it. Um, to be honest, I'm I'm loving the balance between my strength gains, uh, my volume gains. I'm doing better with cutting fat. Um, you probably not going to see it right now, just because I've been eating like shit uh, slightly and really been carving up. But I am enjoying this split a lot. Uh, you know, I start. This is how specifically I'll do it. Um, so, like I said. On the leg day, the first leg day will be hamstring and glutes. And on like the first bench day, I'll hit incline or flat. I'll, I'll alternate from incline or flat that week or decline um, and flat. But I'm always hitting flat bench once a week and then I'll alternate from the incline and decline. And with the barbell, um, I'll actually do the barbell in one movement and then I'll do the dumbbell in the other. So you see me doing incline uh, barbell press right here. And you know, usually some days, I don't know if I did it this day, but some days I'll go to barbell flat bench press. And I'm just kind of getting that unilateral strength, getting that strong super barbell strength as well. I'm um, just working in different ways. And I think that's just super important when it comes to consistent fitness training and especially giving your body a break in certain movements. So 
the second leg day will be like the front squat day. I don't know how many times I've said this to you guys, but this is just the same type of training I've been doing for years. And when I think of training out of everybody's training, the football athletes type of training is just the best. All right, that's just what I've been used to, what works best for me. It could possibly work best for you. Heart rate 132. Heart rate 132 and I'm just lifting weights. A 132 heart rate consistently is where my cardio should be on a treadmill for a consistent time. Now, I'm not sure if it stays 132 for the whole entire workout, but the fact that my heart rate gets to that point, gets that high throughout my workout, I'm still doing some, I'm still doing some fat burning throughout the workout because I have short rest times majority of the time, uh, no more than like a minute, no more than a minute. I let my heart rate get down to, uh, let's say, 100. I try to get it down to 100 before I start again. Some nice breathing. I mean, it, it pretty much doesn't, but still, you want to let it drop a little bit, cool down, because at the end of the day, when you're lifting weights, especially getting under that barbell, you want to make sure you can hit that weight. You have enough energy to push it back up, especially if you don't have a spot or you're not training with somebody. So, you know, take that into consideration if you um, are thinking about having short rest times or, you know, a lot a lot of people try to go off of my rest times around like, what are your, what's your rest time when you do your workouts, blah, blah, blah. Some people can't handle a shorter rest time. If you need longer rest time, do that. The whole point is to make sure you fully complete the workout. If it takes you two hours, fine, you know, but don't rush it. Um, I like to just keep my heart rate up, I'm kind of a little bit winded when I train. So even though this is video, you don't really see the tempo of my training, it's still pretty intense. So as you saw, I started out with incline bench, now I'm trying to do some Joey Swole uh, <laughs> cable flies, bending over forward a little bit, try to hit those upper pecs, which is one area. I'm very um, low in and low meaning that I don't train much honestly really don't train upper pecs much ever since me and matt stopped training together in new york like he was all about incline bench press and hitting the upper chest and i wasn't i was more of a flat decline person uh, so i'm just really trying to incorporate that incline a lot but it's just hard because I, I, I do too much like shoulder press and stuff so i feel like incline and shoulder press are a little bit too close to each other and i don't want to over do it with the front delts because the front delts dude when those things are tight and in the way it's just it's such a pain and you get pinches and stuff you're like forget that okay so just like i said earlier usually i would do flat bench with dumbbells but today for some reason i guess i was feeling really good hitting the upper chest that i went for just supreme upper chest training did the incline did the um, upper chest flies now doing upper chest dumbbell presses and I think I remember now yeah I was having a really good workout I was feeling good I was motivated like I said man the the watch kind of really helped help me stay intense keep the workout going and I like that just like I said before numbers help people are motivated by numbers you know, not I'm not saying everybody, but it helps to say, all right, I want to keep this going. When you have some type of precision in your lifestyle and you, you see the numbers, the metrics of what's going on, it helps you to keep up with that condition. And if it, you know, if it's going to better yourself, then so be it. You're going to go for that. And who doesn't want to better themselves? So like, but the price, mm, not everybody's gonna go for that. You know, honestly, if it wasn't for a video and for like to show you guys, you know, that it's what's going on, then I wouldn't get it myself, to be honest. I really don't care for it. But I'm glad I got it, to be honest, because this is 7.23. This was filmed 7.13. This video right here was 15, actually. The video before was 13. And um, I've had about two weeks with the watch so far, almost two weeks with the watch so far. And I've been enjoying it a lot. It's been really pushing me to do conditioning work. Usually some days I'll skip conditioning work. I won't do any cardio, but at the end of every workout, when I see my heart rate and it's like, oh, 135, all right, let me keep that intensity going. Let me knock out 25, 35 minutes of cardio. 
at the end of my workout, you know, just to get a little extra out of it. Now I look a lot better um, than what I do did in this video. Um, actually, I might not look the best tomorrow because I just ordered a pizza. It's 10:07 <laughs> right now, and uh, I'm hungry. Look, Dad's coming in town. I'm trying to get this video for you guys, and I'm hungry. And that don't touch shirt is looking hella nice. All right, it's looking hella nice. Make sure you grab that when it comes out. But anyways, as I continue on with the workout, uh, push pull workouts, guys. You know, I would like for you guys to comment uh, down below the type of splits you enjoy. You know, I grew up doing, you know, the bodybuilding style stuff, football style stuff, training like a basketball player and training like a track player. I mean, track athlete. So I like to combine all these aspects of training to become what I am now. You know, I'm, I know a lot of you want me to be stick to one thing, but I just can't. I physically just can't. I mentally just can't, to be honest. That's, that's the most important thing because I just get bored so easily. Like I tried powerlifting and sticking to that and lifting weights just kind of gets old for me. Like we're lifting heavy all the time just kind of gets old for me so I want to do something more you know sporadic athletic dunking playing some type of sport I wish I was playing some sport right now you know on my own type of terms without having to listen to somebody yell at my face my face my uh, listen to somebody yell in my face the whole time you know I wish I could do that but I can't but you know it is what it is I just enjoy working out I enjoy the stress of lifting I enjoy the just the hardship of what you go through to building a body externally and internally and it's kind of my focus zone you know I, I work from home all day I do you know stuff like this the videos the gaming stuff and even gaming now something I do for fun it's still work now you know regardless if it's for fun and for myself and I work for myself it's still work and the fact that things are work now is stressful because I have to keep up with a certain you know a level for myself to stay consistent and and be great and i know all of you can be great i know all of you can do what you want to do and um you know be successful at it it just takes time and you know some struggling and i'm still struggling right now you know i'm just talking like real with y'all right now to be honest like fuck the video you know i'm just talking 100 you know, about life um just because i feel like it you know, it's 209 a.m. I'm in my feelings. I'm my Drake right now. <laughs> but I'm just letting y'all know what's real. And um, but for real though, man, you know, I don't know how young you are or how old you are, but there's some point in your life where you're just gonna realize like what you wanna do and you want to excel in that. And I'm just saying like start now, you know, it's never too late. Regardless, do that before you leave this earth. Point blank. Alright? That's like that's that's my saying to you just do that before you leave this earth and really you know just be happy man for for a fact just be happy so i'm gonna end this video on that note man and i uh, hope you guys have a great day enjoy the rest of the week and see you guys on the next video follow my twitch stream at twitch.tv slash fb aftermath you know catch me there i'll be streaming on youtube and stuff too but it is what it is y'all show up y'all don't i don't it don't matter i love y'all point blank of course my life matters to me but not just mine everyone's don't fear failure it's all as true today as when you were 12. handle that business